Hi everybody, I'm Matthew Miller. I'm the Fedora Project Leader and we're doing Virtual Summit from here in my backyard in Somerville, Massachusetts. My daughter is serving as the camera person here. She's going to interview me for a few questions, kind of like if somebody came up at the Fedora booth at Summit and talked to me about something. Here's what I'd say. Um, that's our dog, Tia. She's an important part of this interview as well. Okay, okay. What is Fedora? Fedora is a project where we work together to build an operating system or make it easy for other people to build operating systems that solve problems for their users. So we work on collecting a bunch of software that developed in the open source world out there in the environment and we put it into packages and we put those packages into convenient ways for users to consume. So that includes a desktop based thing, Fedora Workstation, which is our main GNOME based desktop and a bunch of others as well. Fedora, KDE, Plasma Desktop, and other things that different people in the project work on um, to provide desktop environments to users. It also means Fedora IoT. I think we may be coming up with a fancy name for that, but as of the time of this recording, it is called Fedora IoT, and that's for edge computing and you know devices and all that kind of stuff. So we have those kind of things. And then also people... Yes. Yeah. We also have things uh, like the Python Classroom Lab or the Python Robotics Lab, which are basically specialized operating systems made for those use cases. For example, um, I think it's been a while, but the Robotics Lab was used to win World Cup Robotics Soccer for a while, which is uh, pretty exciting. And the Python Classroom Lab is used to quickly set up a classroom for teaching that programming language. So we have a lot of things like that. What's the goal of Fedora? The goal of Fedora is, I talked about this a little bit, to make an operating system, to make it easy for people to make an operating system. But specifically, we want to do that in a community way where everybody can work together and we make something that we all own together. So Red Hat sponsors the Fedora project, but Red Hat doesn't really own the thing that is the community. The community owns Fedora. Uh, the community owns Fedora and uh, it is a community project and that's kind of part of part of the goal is to have this community involvement and make something that we together all work on and it's ours but nobody really owns it so uh, that's that's Fedora. How do Fedora, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and CentOS all relate? So yeah we've got a complicated ecosystem right where we've got Fedora which serves as the upstream project we are the place where all of these other little bits of software so you know, system D the Linux kernel glibc programming languages applications the gnome desktop IOT stuff all that all comes together and we integrate it into one thing and then it flows from there to our other downstream operating system and I talked about our mission being about making making it easy for people to make operating systems and so obviously our downstreams, you know, RHEL and CentOS are an important part of that. Um, the exciting thing we're doing now is CentOS Stream. So the idea is that uh, Fedora is this place where you can be engaged in the community. It's a community-owned distribution. CentOS Stream is something where uh, Red Hat, it is a Red Hat moderated uh, operating system where um, things flow from Fedora into into there and then Red Hat engineers make the decision and it's done transparently in the open in an open source way you can take patches you can contribute but ultimately Red Hat engineering owns the decisions there and then ultimately Red Hat Inter Enterprise Linux is the product which is if you need the value add that Red Hat uh, adds which uh, this conference virtually or in person will tell you a lot about um, if you need that, which a lot of people do, Red Hat provides that support. What do you do in the project? I am the Fedora project leader, which means I, I joked when my kids were doing things for English class a couple years ago. I write persuasive essays. I, I listen to people. And what I try to do, uh, because it is a community project, I'm not a dictator. I can't tell anybody what to do. I can't make orders. And what I try to do is find out how people can work better together, what people in the project are working on, and how we can kind of move all in the same direction so we can get more done working together, try to help the community work smoothly. And I work with another, a number of uh, other people day to day, um, Marie Narden, who's our Fedora Community Action and Impact Coordinator, the F-Cake, uh, who helps work on community building, uh, Ben Cotton's Program Manager, he works on making sure that we actually stay on schedule and ship things on time and, you know, 
get our announcements when we need to. Um, and then other people in the Fedora Council, that's our leadership body, we all work together. But I work with all those people day to day and the rest of the community to make sure everything's going smoothly and in a good direction and you know, we have a strategy and we execute on that kind of thing. What kind of people work on Fedora? Oh, so many different people all around the world. So it's about it, it's kind of hard to estimate because such it's such a wide project and because you know there's nobody on the payroll uh, but about 4,000 people work on Fedora to some degree every year and maybe two to three hundred people are the core constituency of the project and that's web designers that's uh, writers that's some programmers a lot of people doing packaging that's this integration work um, quality assurance, and then kind of the, just the task to get the distro out. Um, so lots of people doing lots of different jobs all around the world, in different parts of the world, South America, India, other parts of Asia, North America, Europe, Czech Republic is where we have Red Hat has a big office there, so we have kind of a big following, but also other parts of Europe. Um, so it's a global project, um, and a lot of people contribute in lots of different awesome ways to different areas. Is there any exciting Fedora news? Yes, we actually have a bunch of exciting things going on. Uh, one thing, the Fedora IoT Edition is launching, so this is going to be our premier solution for running on small devices. Um, not, not tiny like sensor level devices, but home gateways, or also even um, out in, in, in the world in industry, gateway devices that can uh, be used for you know automation control and those kind of things. And that's um, going to be the upstream for something, a Red Hat product that is, I think, a RHEL CoreOS Edge is going to be the product, um, and so Fedora IoT serves as the innovation engine for that. So that's pretty awesome. Also, uh, our friends over at Lenovo, the laptop people, are actually shipping some laptops with Fedora pre-installed on it, which is awesome. Fedora is available from some small places, which are also exciting, cool, and I appreciate them, but uh, it is just really neat to see it being shipped out of the box on um, a you know major laptop vendor and the people at Lenovo have been awesome to work with they're very excited about doing this in an open source way this isn't some sort of modified half proprietary operating system this is the real pure Fedora workstation coming to you from Lenovo so um, that's really exciting uh, I think there's some of those people are around here at this virtual summit and you could talk to them more about it